What is going on YouTube? I hope everyone can hear me. Uh, I haven't done a stream in a while, so uh make sure everything's fine here. Uh everything looks cool, so uh if you guys are here, welcome to uh Red's World. We're doing a stream for the first time in a while. Um if you can't hear me, let me know down in the chat. I'm gonna be playing some bio mutant second so uh just giving everybody a second to join. so how have you guys been it's been a while since i streamed i got some some stream uh followers who check out every stream so uh I, i'm pretty eager to see if they're still gonna come through if not it is what it is yeah i decided a random time to stream so <laughs> let's see here So, let me get over here. Whoop. Gonna get into... The game might be a little louder, a little quiet. So, I'm gonna have to balance that. I did not test that beforehand. So, if you guys can't hear me or you can't hear the game, let me know. THQ Nordic. I've, I, this game's actually got a lot of hype behind it, so I'm excited to see if they live up to the expectations here. What's going on, everyone who's joining the chat? I see you guys joining. Thank you guys for stopping by Red's World. Feel free to hop in the chat. I'll try to read it. I don't promise anything, though. <laughs> Gonna try to load in here to uh, Bio Mutant is what I'm playing. Loading times are a little long for now, maybe just because it's the first time. Warning, please read before playing. A very small percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to a certain light patterns or flashing lights. Exposure to certain patterns. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, not about to read that. If you're epileptic, probably don't watch this. All right, let's see here. Uh, image is barely visible, so ah, wow, that's loud. There we go. It's a pretty nasty noise. Bio mutant. Running through the forest with my furry ears. You probably run. They kind of look like the brutes from Halo. That man's about to bust someone's head open. It's a bomb! Run! This looks like it's about to be nuts. Uh... Push. Just had to make sure that was in English. Once I get everything balanced, I'm gonna switch in over monitors. So as beautiful as this be dying. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them. 
or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual... That was all the intro? So. Okay. Welcome to Biomutant. Thank you. I uh, probably should have did all of this. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, field of view. I like I like field of view settings. We'll turn that up a little bit. I would put it on hard, but I don't know how hard this game is gonna be. Is this just gonna be a seamless intro? That would be awesome. Do I get to customize? Encode your DNA. I... Okay, give me just a second and I'll move that for you guys. Alright, so Primal is a nimble, developed, anthropomorphic breed. A hybrid with a gene mutation making them nimble and dexterous. Uh, okay, so that's a stamina build, I want to say. Ooh, that is hideous. <laughs> that is disgusting. Um, let's see. The least developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensate the lack of mental prowess with physics. So they're dumb. Okay, Rex is an extraordinarily developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with a DNA string, making it apt for both physical and mental. Okay. Isla is a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, um, a hybrid with gene mutation, making them tough and resilient. I kind of like the way that, that one looks. This one looks horrible, a FIP. <laughs> A fit breed is renowned for highly evolved uh, mind. Its genius is directly interlinked with the power of key, which amplifies their psionic output. Mergle. Mergle is the definition of an idolized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in the direction from where they form appearance and as whoa, whoa, whoa I feel like I read that wrong. Has gone in a direction where Form and appearance has dominated over function. Okay. Uh, was that charisma? Yeah. Uh, I feel like agility, strength, and intelligence are going to be important. I don't really know what the difference is too much. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I like this one. <laughs> it's just smooth. Uh, this one looks so beasty, though. Yeah, we're probably going to go with the Hyla. Okay, let's see what this says. Find your character's attributes. Define your genetic structure. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay. So, if I'm smart. I'm big brain. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's funny as shit. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this thing. That is hilarious. Oh man. I don't want to look derpy either, though. Looks like a box rat. Oh man, they all look terrible. So they actually give you a genetic... Okay, let's randomize. Let's see what we get. Agility and strength. I can mess with that for now. Intelligence is a little low though. Uh, I don't want to be dumb. It's not all based off of appearance, though. That one's not bad. Uh, 
that's with agility maxed out pretty much Okay, let's see this. I want to see strength and agility. Probably go about that. Choose okay. a genetic resilience. Um, I would probably say. I don't know. I mean, cold would be nice for fur. Uh, um. Does that change anything? Yeah, it changes the hand. I, I feel like maybe. I don't know. I feel like going through the middle would probably be the best because I don't know. Choose your first style. Just about got my eardrums blown out. By my microphone. <laughs> All right, let's see. Kind of like the one I just had. That's pretty slick. That one's pretty cool, too. Hmm, I kind of like that one, too. Okay. We're probably going to go with this one. Pick your main color. The primary color? Probably stay with red. <laughs> Choose your detail color. Okay. Um... this there it is would it look better pick your main color if i make this choose your detail color Mm. I kind of like that. That's fine. Pick a class. What? There's so much shit. Deadeye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside law and society values. Not bad. Commando, Commando is a trained operative with uh, elite special operations force commandos are used to working in smaller teams. Psy freak. Uh, psy freaks are experimental with sonic or psionic powers and mutations. They're usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Saboteur. Saboteur is a cunning, skillful explorer. Uh, operate covertly in both suburbs of the wilderness. Okay. Sentinel. Sentinel dedicate themselves to protect a house. Their dedication is for an organization as a whole, including supreme belief in their dogma. Saboteur. Mm. I do like the dodge energy. Psycho. Commando. Range weapons inflict more damage. Yeah. Range weapons reloaded instantly and give your next magazine damage buff. Commando. Cypher, saboteur. Ah, uh, so dead, dead eye seems Commander, like the Cy right Commander. one. We're gonna go range. Commando chosen. Yeah. Let's do it. Good choice. I hope so. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Looks like my brightness is a little off. I don't think. We're already at the crossroads. 
Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your I gotta go red. The primal energy that Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner okay. voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Okay. Hello. I'm not sure dark is from Yeah, I'm one with darkness. I can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. This is a very early decision. That thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Yeah. Better half. My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So I'm trying to get this brightness correct. All right. Right is always right. I feel like him saying right is always right is a sign that I probably shouldn't go right. Yep, that sounds terrible. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that what preys that? on others. Is that a horse? Meat eaters meat. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? No. Nope. did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Um... So he killed my horse, is what I'm gathering. No. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't have any ammo. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know how to fight at all. EX. What happened? I don't even know. <laughs> This is not the time nor place to end this story. Oh, this is like the opening cinematic. And then there will be a big explosion. Biomutant. Not gonna lie. Um, I think it, it's pretty smooth so far, but I feel like they could have for sure done better on the actual setup of the tutorial. I feel like that was kind of just a narrator talking, but that's just me. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Let us hope. Ah! Shut the door. Close it. The predator isn't the only thing. What the hell are those? The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Is that a leopard die. rat? Ah. 
what's up? It kind of reminds me of like Devil May Cry or something. I'm trying so hard to figure this out right now. I'm not gonna lie, I suck. I'm trying to figure out, like, how to lock on. I guess I should have been reading more of that. <laughs> I don't know if there's extra stuff to explore for or anything like that. Probably not yet. Can I break things? Uh, no. It looks like I made Mark character a little bit more like pink than I intended but it looks cool still I'm not mad uh bags okay did I did I get it oh okay open sesame an electronic module Okay, attach it. So now I got a speed module for my gun, okay. I don't think I should go through that door. I, I feel like it's gonna be locked. Well, no. Why wouldn't I go in here then? Wait a second. Small health pack in the toilet? <laughs> I thought I was gonna actually poop or something. Here we go. The oil sludge uh -oh. is everywhere. To most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Remember to parry attacks. I mean, I'm gonna just shoot you. Uh. Uh, uh. Ah! He's shooting me. Uh oh. I might be in trouble. Oof. Shit. Uh oh. Okay, so the combat's a little different than I anticipated, but I think it looks good, too. I just gotta figure out some of the animations and stuff, and I'll be good. This game for sure has, like, a... As of right now, it for sure has, like, a weird Banjo-Kazooie mixed with Devil May Cry feel. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Swing on me. <clears throat> oh, shit. No. Oh. Shit. Why is it clacking? I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. Ah! Uh. That thing was hideous. Small energy pack. Okay. Got some gear off of them. 
guess we're going with a different weapon. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing just yet. So, bear with me here. Uh oh. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with a melee attack before you can damage the enemy. That's not good. Oh. I don't. Hmm. Guess I can get rid of this one. I guess you gotta find a balance between I don't I don't know if I could throw this or not. Huh. Woo shit. You gotta find balance between uh your shooting and your Ah Like I said it reminds me a lot of Devil May Cry. Oh, I got cop paying attention to whatever the hell I just picked up. Got him. So, I am a commando, which means I shoot more. Uh, okay, I leveled up. So, I'm buns with the sword. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out as we go. I do gotta look at the controls real quick though. I do not know how to um uh there we go. I don't know how to lock on. I feel like there's a lock on. Um toggle ability, transport range weapons, consumables. No no lock on. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Okay. Law bar. This is a big ass knife I'm carrying around. Kaboom. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Uh, uh. Whoa! Whoa! I find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Ah! Uh, I'm sinking. Okay, so the oil you sink in, you don't just instantly die. That's good. Okay. I like this game so far. I am interested to see how it evolves, though. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. That's disgusting. And also terrifying. Chop, chop! Uh, 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 uh. Finally got something sweet going. <laughs> I want to be in between all of them. So, I've kind of learned how to kick them into the air. You absorb the bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations, collect them, and uh, containers. Okay. You have a good eye for that stuff. 
I didn't know if I could destroy that. <laughs> this gun I got is inaccurate as hell. Ah! Ah! Okay, I almost fell. <laughs> Open sesame. All right. The hell it was this aliens? Toxinol built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. That's good. Guess we could go to character, see what we can level up here. Um, so far health doesn't seem to be an issue. The melee damage is cool. Um I'm gonna go with as long luck. as you're happy about it. Yep, I'm I'm happy about it. Let's go ranged. Uh special attack unlocks. Maybe not go ranged. Let's get something. <laughs> um Unarmed? Nah, one-handed slash, maybe? Unlock the first special attack, so that's X, B, X. Yeah, I've got that, and then the A, X, and then the X, 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 okay. X, 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 Y, there we go. I need something like that. Yeah, that'll open up the move list a little bit. Okay. Go to mutations. Biogenetics. What the hell? The, to use moth mouth, press the input you have it bound to. This will infect any small humanoid enemy hit while infected enemies will attack their allies. That might be worth it. To use vile bile, press down the input you have. It will make you spew toxic slush in the direction uh, you are facing, inflicting damage to all enemies. Okay. I'm probably gonna do the vile ball. Your body could change. I just feel like that's the one that's gonna make the most sense to my playstyle. Okay. Uh. All right. Let's keep rolling. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths while others feature different rewards. To switch the node, uh, use the left stick, RBLB. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle running out of moves before that may have consequences. Okay, so. Just a few moves left. Make them count. I don't know how I even figured that out, but let's see what they got to play for us. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. Sounds like That's us. when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. So we're mutated because this company wanted to 
to pour sewage and toxins into the water. Okay. That's terrifying because that's realistic. Uh -oh. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Brain melt? What is the hell it's is going that? To take a bit oh, of puzzling see. to short circuit the door. Um, okay, so I'm thinking that the, this has to be like this. Maybe Just white has to touch left. white. Make them count. <laughs> Damn. Why do I have a human skeleton? Let's try Am I a human? <laughs> Did that wrong. Okay, so white has to touch white, orange has to touch orange. There you go. Don't say there I go. I knew that motherfucker. It was just gonna take a second. Out of date. Perfectly <clears throat> encountering an enemy will stun them. A stunned enemy has star cycling above their head. Uh, launch them up in the, the air. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. The wheeled one. <laughs> You're on your way to performing special attack. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Come here, wield one, so I can put some poison around you. You don't have it in you right now. I don't have wood in me. What the hell just happened? <laughs> right this, face. this dude's got a beastie ass shotgun. There you go. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. There Let's we go. The wheeled one before back up. The Slatra. What was that? Did I? Why am I breaking their weapons? I don't. I don't want the we weapon I have. Give me their weapons. I. Damn it! I should have went up the rope. I knew it. I, I looked back at the rope and was like, I should go up the rope. Maybe I'll leave out of here that way. Mpa. Wherefore, What's up, man? I do our yeah, yeah. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. Okay. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out. Why. Yeah, because he's not speaking oh, yeah, yeah, you properly. Are. He presents himself as out of date. <clears throat> he knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Yeah. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. When was that night? There have been rumors of a one eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone. But the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under your it's eye patch. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. Muma? <laughs> My Muma. There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, Lupa your Lupin Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. Muma and Popsy. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. 
that he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Uh, what's at stake? The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also that's worries not about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. I mean, I was introduced to the tree, so I kind of remember it, but... Okay, dialogue settings. Okay. A new best friend. Whoa. Flashbacks? <laughs> what the hell? A fucking Fonzie over here. Hey. He asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them. The potato people. The potato people. The Irish? The potato people, or Nono. I could say that I have red hair. <laughs> somehow interlinked with this little tree here, fueling its source of life. Um. Sure. I don't know. You might be right. <laughs> what is this language? Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. Okay. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay. He is fucking humongous. Uh, okay, let's ruffle the grass. Ah! Okay. I'm assuming there's no fall damage then. Whoa, I think I'm drowning. Ah, I think I'm drowning. I died. <laughs> Damn it. No! Okay, I thought I was gonna have to listen to him talk all over again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the narration style of this game so far, so I hope as you get further in the game, that kinda dies out a little bit, cause that's pretty annoying. I, I kind of would rather read text or something than to have a narrator just explaining things to me. It kind of makes it feel more kiddy as well, which might be what they're going for. This game for sure has like a Legend of Zelda, Devil May Cry, Banjo-Kazooie type feel to it. Ruffle the grass. <laughs> you found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. What Pensai? The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. Okay. 
You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of ki released from the nono as they become one with the tree. Oh, switching headphones here. You'll need a net to catch the nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of ki, the primal energy. Okay. So let's capture him, kill him, and give it energy to the tree. What am I, SpongeBob? Come here. Yeah. What the hell was that? That looked like a you burrito with legs. Like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Uh. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the pensai tree. Okay. Um. How many? Where can I find them? Just in the grass. They're hiding in the glitter grass. The glitter grass. Deep inside damp caves, where they draw mineral from the natural rock. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. Okay, that would be but pretty cool. Today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. So I wonder if the tree of life is literally the only tree that's strong enough to make oxygen or if it's uh like I don't, why why is this tree so special there's got to be some lore behind why this tree is so special and none of the other ones are i'm pretty interested to see that I look like a little badass. Cool little fucking monk man. I'm not gonna lie, if they don't allow me to climb up trees in this game, and I'm a damn animal, I'm gonna be a little upset. It, it's fine now, I'm, I'm a little monk man, but when I'm a full grown monk man... <laughs> The hell? <laughs> Here's this guy again. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. I guess. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day. Oh, let me skip that. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Muma. I agree. She's got lots on her mind. No, oh, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let. So the was she a leader of some sort? Not. And then something happened on the night that changed everything. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Okay. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree. Now why can't I understand him, though? He's afraid it might be in vain. The, the tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. What are the world eaters? The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. See what you're doing, BP? BP's out here. I, I mean, Toxinol. Is working on a mecton and needs help fucking everything up. Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. 
Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Okay. And this is just the tree of life. Loco has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the east route. The hoof puff. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. Goo -glide? A machine able to ride the waves of the surf <laughs> all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. How can I defeat him? His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majute, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Okay. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. D developing a decent lore here. I got my net again. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head out, my guy. You just talked my ear off. I can't just open his door, damn. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Let's do it. Yeah. I almost feel like there's probably something there, but I don't know if this is like the type of game where you can find secrets. I guess we'll have to see as time goes. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Alright, man. Take a break from your dialogue sequences. We're about to see how this game actually plays. Let's do it. Don't start a talking. Fuck. Maps it out for the cartographically challenged. <laughs> Eric. Let's see. Oh, that was the signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it, and you can fast travel. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Whoa. Um, we're not gonna fight that right now, are we? Oh, thank God. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over. Where'd he go? That's not the first, nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Uh... Where did it go? Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Doesn't look like it's very alive. It's cute, though. Oh, not the voice I expected. He's heard the story <laughs> about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Okay. Your inner balance is two halves that complete your wholeness that flows through. Okay. Uh. So there's like karma, kind of. There won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the tree of life survives the attack. Okay. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. 
I don't, I don't know if I have. Interacting with captives and shri shrines. Okay. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Ah, uh, do I have time to help him? I always play the good guy. Fuck it. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Only if you can help me. I'm not gonna help you. That's a spark of light oh, in you. Oh god. That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. You don't have to be so harsh. <laughs> such a little spark. Take it out now while it's small. Hm. There's always another spark. Damn. He just keeps smacking it. Got some side points. Oh my god, can There's I play the game? game? He must have missed something important. Out of Date says you will make a better stand against the World Eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. Okay. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy. So I actually get to pick a faction? Is worse than ever. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Of war. Okay. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Okay. And then? The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing uh, that's is necessary rough. to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni or what? He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Mpa, wherefore, where, where, the what? Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what. We had to go Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I usually play the good guy, but I think I'm gonna go with the bad guy at this point. I think it sounds really cool. To have, uh, what can I just craft here? What the hell? Scrap, oh, scrap. Oh, we ain't gonna do that. I have no gear. Why are you telling me to fucking organize it? Okay, so I should have side powers. There we go. So with Blaze, press down. Blaze will launch you forward and leave a trail behind you. Okay. Blink. Hold down the input you have to bounce ability. It will teleport you in the direction you are. It will teleport you in the direction you are moving and create a shockwave where you... Okay. That's not bad. I'm liking the powers. No, fuck. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? We're gonna go to the bridge and we're gonna join the dark side so I don't ever have to hear you talk again. 
I'm not usually impatient, but this guy is very monotone. It's taking a toll on me. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> oh my god. This is awful. That's like playing the Stanley Parable. I don't know which side I'm... Uh, what the hell? I probably should not be taking part in this. I don't know which one is which. I don't know what happened. I think I had an execution or something. Okay. Ah. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no Those idea are the what I'm kind doing. Of things you need. They've restroyed this area, muddied up what used to be muck, as if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. Ooh, what's this? Health patch. Okay. Well, let's head up the hill and let's talk to the, uh, Jagni. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. See, the thing with this is, this is very early on in the game to have to pick whether or not you want to be good see. or bad. Did I just piss on the signpost? <laughs> okay. Uh. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Doesn't know if Sifu will have time for you, Doesn't but he'll let you in to find out. Doesn't know if will have time for you, but he'll let you in to find out. Okay. I get to meet the leader. Let's see what the leader of this samurai tribe looks like. Not cool enough looking. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't join this the tribe. The is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. But what happens when the World Eaters eat us? He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. Okay. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. I'm not cold-blooded. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit. Bunker 101? Is that a Vault That's 101 reference? In common. Okay. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. Okay. But he's glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. To some degree. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Okay, so he worked with my mom. Or my there Mumba. Six of them, 
but the unity fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village. Okay. Soon after, they formed new tribes based on their own values, and when the blight started, the animosity escalated. Jesus, the lore is just piling on. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at okay. least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Understand. There is some darkness in the best of us, even you, and suggests you embrace that side of you and help them vanquish the uh. tribes and let the world eaters destroy the tree of life. See, I always pick the good characters, so in this game, I want to go bad. So I'm not even going to look at the other tribes because I'll probably agree with them more. But let's go with the dark side. Yep, we're joining. He wasn't sure you'd do that. But it seems your mind took control of that big heart of yours. Yep. That's a sign of strength. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other. What makes me so special? The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Okay, let's vanquish him. The Myriad are too good to be true. They might believe in the greater good and a code of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the tree of life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Allied with the Jagni. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end. Let's end this quickly. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs okay. to take control of. This game is actually getting more interesting, minus this guy fucking talking constantly. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. Sounds and good to that me. That will never happen. Even if you see the world differently, you must hit them as soon and as hard as you can. Okay. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Huh? Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Sounds good. Let's get to it. The only kin who count are the kin that are left standing at the end of the war. Let's focus on making that. All right, let's do it. Kin. Seeing you brings back his memory. All right, let's do it. Jackney doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Oh They're my god, you people. have said this six times. <laughs> he remembers your kind and unselfish soul, and can yes. sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. That's true. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't... He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. Thank you. I I don't mind the dialogue. I like that it's setting up the plot, but it says the same thing like six times. What I'm hoping, because I do intend on playing this again, like through again, if um, I like the storylines pretty solid. So, uh... You know, if, if I get to kind of play through a second time, I hope I get to mute this guy or something. I'm not trying to hear him just talk my ear off again. You can't swim, but for like two seconds in this game. <laughs> I feel like there's probably going to be a merchant. Yeah, see? Shopkeeper claims you won't be I'd like to barter. 
Thanks. Always a deal to be made. All right, what about clothes? I don't want parts. Who's this? Doesn't believe you're such a fool. Okay. And who are you? Your clothes? Shopkeeper claims. It's trading time. All right. Let's see what you have to offer, cause I'm trying to look cool. And I have zero. Okay. Tennis ball? What the hell? What does that do? Okay. So it does look like there's a lot of room for upgrading. I feel like they're really dragging this intro out. The gatekeeper welcomes I'm literally about to start skipping this guy's dialogue though. Not because I want to miss information, but I really want to play the game at this point. It looks like the world's going to be pretty interesting to explore, though. I got the uh, rod as well, so I should be able to catch creatures and stuff if that happens to come up. Oh god! Better beware. That's a mump up ahead. A they mump? were hit hard by evolution. The wonky ones, especially, deformed and unfurred. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm thinking I might run from this one. That might be alright. Bam, 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 bam. I'm aware. Uh, there we go. Die. Uh, Your reserves are tapped. I'm out of stamina. Die. Why would I leave now? There's another one gonna come out or something. I don't even know what that gave me. Getting a bunch of stuff now. Okay, so we killed that guy. That's good. Shows we can... Whoa, what the hell? Did not think you were gonna jump up in this building. Right. Getting a bunch of cloth, it looks like. All right. Um, we made it to the childhood Time is lost village. On this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it. This is a small ass closer. village. That can't be it. I've literally had a flashback. Shouldn't have been that far from here. This on the sign. Let's see. Okay. As time passes, memories fade. 
and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Did I just shrink? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Whoa. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Goop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Uh, a little down, I don't know. Goop wants you to make it a priority to come looking for him whenever you're feeling down. He'll make you smile. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake practicing uh. your swimming technique. Um, I'd sure like to. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. It's, uh, a lot of this narrator talking, Marcus. <laughs> he thinks you should really swim. Teach me. And he'll be honored. It, it's cool so far, though. It for sure has, like, some Devil May Cry, Zelda-type vibes. Oh, I'm gonna actually learn how to swim. Hell yeah. Ah! 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 Uh, I think I'm gonna drown, Goop. Goop! <laughs> You gonna let me die? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? That's pretty much how my dad did me with swimming. I never learned though. Just became a, a panic. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? I did not learn how to swim. Yeah, you almost drowned me. A feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to So then teach me, don't but drown me. Practice. Lots of practice. I'll keep trying. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. Okay. You can never try to Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. Uh-oh. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. Okay. I lost track of time. Let's roll. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. Okay. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. Okay, see you soon. Sploosh. I just walked through the pool. Yeah, there's some things about this game. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell is that? How you're feeling today? Um, better now that I'm talking to you. You made me laugh. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Sure. He's happy to hear. You should look for things that are recyclable. Okay, look for recyclables. But anyway, there are some things that for sure feel a little more budget. Like, I feel like they've been working on this game for a long time, so... I'm kind of disappointed by the way some of the f things feel, but... This intro sequence has been so long and excruciating. I feel like when the game actually opens up, it's gonna be really good, but right now it's kinda... Meh. He wonders what it, it does feel like it's gonna be good, though. You're the expert. Sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Um. Sure. 
I do not know how, but you can't make a difference. Yeah, I'd love to teach you to upcycle. Alright, let's do it. So if I recycle. Okay, let me read this instead of guessing. Start crafting your weapon. First select the base. This defines which type of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons. Crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. Okay, so it's like you actually get like a three-tier type situation. What the hell is that? Uh, uh, I want a katana. We should probably go... I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take to make this, so... Okay. Well, I mean, shit, if he was going to let me just make whatever, I should have just did that. Well, you did <laughs> Fuck. Well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. Um... It's what I know how to make. He says you don't really need a weapon when you're born one. What does that mean? The the he understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. Psionics. Okay. You're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use Oh, that weapon of you know what? I'll probably have to craft a weapon when I get back He's to my time. This is a flashback. What you'll make next? It seems it looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Uh, just go do what she needs. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and... You're right. She wants you to grow... I'll try harder. Okay. And start by meeting her on the village square. Okay. Of course, there's gonna be kids here. They look determined. Better watch out. Can I pass so I can go not get in trouble, fellas here? He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. I don't want any trouble. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. Or what? There's no way they'll let you pass. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do. That weak ass push, I'm about to kill your whole fucking crew now. Mm, mm. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. I can't see nothing. They poison me. Uh, 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 uh. We're killing the arrow, man. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. It's just me and you. What you got? Uh, uh. What? He beat me? How fucking fast do I have to tap? Why play as a trash panda when you could play Tarkov? Tarkov? <laughs> She asks it's new, you're... man. What I gotta play it. I play everything. She asks us if you're hurt, what happened? We should invite them to train. She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they So can then they better quit trying to pick on me, bastards. It's time to focus on your training now. Why doesn't she just walk me there? The shitty ass mom. Or Mooma. Whatever the hell that means. Here's someone close to heart doing what he does best. 
what? Is this my popsy? Seeing you always puts yep. a smile on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. As good as anybody. Training with Mumo will make you feel better. It always does. He's a... What we got here? Uh, what? Why do I look so tiny? I didn't see another pile of clothes. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's curious to see what you found. Something familiar to renew. He's for, He's for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bionucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Things made he can work one <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's fucking get to this. It's fine. We'll wear that. Something. I don't care at all. <laughs> I'm losing my patience. What the hell? Did I already change clothes? Or Time to train. I'ma beat her ass. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. I'm here. Hopes you're as ready. I am ready. She said, but I don't fear failure. All of this, and I'm not actually even gonna get to train. We're just gonna dance. Like, this is the stuff that makes the game seem really low budget. It's a bunch of dialogue and then really poorly animated sequences. And then this guy fucking talking for hours. I just want to play the game. Thanks you for being such a good Been working on a present. The only reason I'm losing patience is because I've been streaming this for like a fucking hour. You've deserved it. And I've barely played the game at all. I just want to explore, kill some shit, learn some skills. Catchy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this uh. little thing. Your luck at this point, uh, says you look tired. <laughs> no wonder. But what a day it's been. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. There we go. Plug my controller in. Damn game has done drain my batteries. Nothing could stop you from seeing. Whoa, who the fuck is this guy now? So he lit a bridge on fire in the middle of rain that looks like it came from the original Xbox. Urges you <laughs> to blaze a trail. What the hell is happening? A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Yeah, no shit. Oof. That's just adding fuel to the flames. I'm not gonna say this game is bad, but it feels very low budget for the time that they had to make it. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. And this could just be because they're... This was like the earlier part of development. I don't know. Your Muma says this is it. Let's run! There's nowhere to run. Well then, let's fight! 
Popsy, but okay, I'll fight by your son. She loves how brave you are. This is her fight. But she... here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. No, I'm not running. I'm not running. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. No! You big bastard, leave her alone. This is what I'm talking about. Finally, some fucking action. Let's go. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Oh, he's gonna crunch me like the great apes. Says you now I gotta learn how to swim. Believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Like, what is this animation? <laughs> your child is drowning to death, and that's your animation. Surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Big guy swinging at us, kid drowning to death. Like, come on. You gotta animate this shit a little bit. They've been making this game for like five, six years. And the trailers made it look fire. I'm not gonna lie, the marketing team did good. I ain't gonna say it's bad, but this these cinematics fucking suck. I'm not trying to be hypercritical. I think the gameplay will be good, but this shit, <laughs> this ain't it. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. Now I can swim and she drown? Well, probably fucking horrible the form. The is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. What the fuck? Just... Okay. They could have told me my mom drowned trying to save me from Lupin Lupin or whatever the hell his name is, and it would have been better than that, to be honest. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. I hate their choice of narration here. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself this man just wrong me. With you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Damn. That was my mom and pop. All right, so the moment fades and is lost. The only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Holy shit. I'm gonna get some gameplay now. Wait a second. I just crossed that city. Did I get this signpost? I can level up, but I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. Let's see. Okay. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and level up. Shit, I don't know what button. There it is. Okay, so vitality nice for sure. Work. No problem. Wong Fu. See, brain name X R trigger. Hell yeah, I want that move. Okay, so let's see. 
I did want to see, yeah, gear. Craft. Let's do a main hand. Can I, unable to craft new weapon, bone it is required. Okay, so can I modify? I mean, I don't think I have any at 50. All right, so all of that shit's basically pointless unless I actually have it. Small bag. All right, now we're getting into the shit of it. It's only been about an hour. I really hope it doesn't start cutting into shitty cinematics again. Whoa. Who the hell is that? Caught a fluffy hawk. Better watch out. It's no a pet. fluffy hawk? Um, how about I shoot this motherfucker to death? Yeah, buddy. Dodged him. Everyone shoot him. Ah! What skill did I just get? I gotta remember what skill that was. Uh, range, guns, EX, R trigger. Ah! Ah, uh, ah, you motherfucker. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Ow, ow, what the hell? Ow. My headphones are dying. I done lost two pairs of headphones. Ah! What the hell? Why ain't it hurting it? You've used up all your key energy. No, I didn't. Quit lying. Ah! Um, shit! I forget. There it is, bam. Huh. I feel like once you get your skills and stuff, the combat will be really good too. It was harder than expected to take down the Fluff Hulk. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribes. They're looking forward to meeting me. Waiting for you at the Myriads. Okay. Okay. You should hurry there and help them store Let's do it. Them. Here to slaughter. Huh. That is a hilarious <laughs> painting. So now we're on some underground shit. That's what I like. Now we're getting into the juicy part. Okay, I need to blow this up somehow, but I don't know how. Toxanol was something called a corporate juggernaut, and our world still bears the mark. Look, an emergency box from the old days. What the wow. hell? Bet that nut makes a tight fist. Lock fist? Okay. Okay. Well, let's equip it. Ah, uh, wait. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? I 
I don't know. There we go. I gotta charge it. I'm sitting here like, what the hell? No. Oh. Um, switch weapons, okay. No, now this game is Tunnels like this starting to get better. Echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Not really. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Go. Now the combat's starting to get nice too. I got a new weapon. Mm -hmm. Burn. Oh, I don't. What the hell, Xbox? <laughs> burn. 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 Nah. Now, now it's starting to get That's better. A good find. Took a long time though, I'm not gonna lie to you. If you don't like slow intros, this game just skip most of it. It's very simple. You can condense it. Essentially, his mom and dad got killed by a guy named Loopy Lupin or some shit. And uh Yeah. Now we're here. <laughs> That's what I've covered in the last hour. The overall core game seems like it's gonna be pretty cool though. What the hell is that? Okay, we got a gun piece. For sure about to throw that on. Um, crap. Maybe? What the hell? I don't... Or there it is. Craft, 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 craft. Okay, craft. Okay, so I don't think I could do that yet. Got a tennis ball. I don't know what the hell that's for. It's more than a little scary down here. What does this... It's literally a tennis ball. Okay. Uh, let's check out this way. Bounty board? Maps? That notice board? Filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done. Toxanol never cared about the waste as long as. Whew, I might have had to uninstall this motherfucker. Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. Why Why do I need to flush the toilet exactly? That's the kind of trouble okay, you really shit. want to wash away. I'll take it. Um. See what other gear I had too. I look really stupid. <laughs> this corner of the world is called Bricktown. Okay. Did I actually get up there? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. This is starting to open up and I fuck with it. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting impatient with it, but. Here we go. The darkness uh, swallows everything ah. at night. The darkness swallows everything at night. Doesn't really seem too bad unless it's not nighttime. I don't know if I should be concerned with that. Is this like a dying light situation? I'm getting all kinds of shit right here. I'm for sure about to keep looting. Should be a signpost or something somewhere around here. What the hell was that? Okay, it's just dust. I seen my foot move. That shit was weird. There's a lot of shit here. Damn it, I want to loot everything. Oh yeah, we got to throw the glasses on. You already know what's up with... I guess I can't wear the glasses. You found the track. Amazing it wasn't destroyed. So, so much of this the tr the automation or C. What you got for me? There's literally just so many little things in here. I'm not going to loot for all of it just yet cuz I feel like I'm going to have to come back here. So this is up the path that I could have went, so... Gonna loot a little bit more. There was a signpost outside. Is that a helmet? I really don't want to wear a stupid ass helmet, but... <laughs> Smart to protect your Fuck melon. It. Let's do it. It's early game, you just wear whatever you get now. Okay, what the hell is this? I'm gonna have all kinds of health. A real treasure. I don't want a skirt. I, I like my pants. Squint into the oncoming light. Squint Keep into the that. oncoming light. I look like a fucking brain dead tourist or something. I jump out. No. All right, let's hit the signpost. Let's see. I feel like there's something important in here if it's flashing the way it is. Never. You need to get the pegs lined okay. up to get the clothes soaker rolling. So that needs to go. Oh, moved it the wrong way. Shit. Just a few moves left. Make them count. I don't mind the little puzzles. You I think really that's cool. Put a spin on it. Iron cage. What the hell is that? Why can't I like that? I don't know why I couldn't wear that. I said it was body armor. We're gonna get out of here with what I have. What the hell was that? Just heard a robot beeping. I'm gonna check these houses for that robot. I for sure just heard it again. It's like over here. Damn, I haven't been looking behind the counters. Okay. Uh. What the 
hell is that noise? Is that it's me? It's getting lighter out. Can I get up here? Well, I don't know if it was designed for me to get up here, but ah, ah, I almost made it. <laughs> I've played enough games to know how to traverse, damn it. Yeah, I don't hear the robot anymore. That was weird. I. What the hell was that noise? Is it the signpost? Fuck it, I'll check the trash cans, I guess. That actually looks cool. Good for protecting your noggin. I genuinely don't know. I hear a fucking robot beeping there. I have no idea how to get down from here. I think I'll die, wanna? It's Peekaboo Park. Young ones. Yes, there's no fall damage, so. Hey, okay, let's see. I got two upgrade points. Okay, we'll put up. Let's do luck, more like and it. then let's do... Uh, Check out damage. Those guns. Okay, so... I have skills, but I'm gonna wait to see what I need. What the hell? Keep focused on what you can do today. Tomorrow's already gone. Real-time physics? I like seeing that. What the hell is that? Whoa. Who are you? Oh. Trying to learn different combos as I fight. All right. What were you hiding from me? Whoa! It's six from Little Nightmares. This one seems nope. to be in good it's a fucking grown man. <laughs> left here for dead. Um. Has heard that you have a sense um. of compassion and trusts it's in your nature um. to help those. Bless in me. What's a donut, Goga? Asks you to do the right thing for the sake of your conscience. It's only through your inner conscience. No, I already that saved you. Is surprised you chose not to help. Doesn't matter. What? Why did the fuck yes, did I kill him? That's the way. No arguing with that. Sometimes your gut. Don't ever doubt yourself. Even the dark knows your best. Stick with me. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm staying with the dark side. I, I just, I don't know, I, I never go with the dark side, so I figure, fuck it. Yeah, now we're getting to the open shit. Ah! I don't know, <laughs> know if this is how I'm supposed to be traversing. Vacation. This. 
Wait a second. So these are shrines? That's a myriad tribe outpost. Okay. Probably should have stayed up there, but that's all right. This game, in a weird way, has like a Ghost of Tsushima vibe to it. Tsushima. I guess I should probably be worried about the big guy beside me, huh? Okay, let me switch weapons here. Key energy is too low. Everyone die in my dookie splash. So I'm starting to get some combos and stuff down. Starting to make the game a little bit more enjoyable. I honestly, since the cinematics ended and we got into the actual Take gameplay, this has been much better. Okay. Breath and soak it all in. So we got a resting place. Does it say it auto saves here? another board over there but I don't think I can swim across the all oh, the water packs probably work like Mario sunshine or something there's something literally right there don't fucking lie to me what about this can I light it on fire Says you seem all right and wishes there was something they could do for you. Okay, so how do we go about? Yes, we need to save because if I fucking have to go through that dialogue again, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. All right, though. Um, that was Biomune. Um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I, you know, I, I did complain a lot towards, you know, the hour and a half mark where, uh, you know, it was just talking, but once the game opened up, it got a lot better. The, I do like the lore behind it. I feel like it was delivered really badly in the intro. Um, I feel like the game is starting to open up into like a Zelda type feel, but it kind of has combat with like Devil May Cry. No, I keep making that comparison. So, uh. You know, to anybody who enjoys those types of games, um, Immortals, Phoenix Rising, those types feels, um, for sure check this out. I don't think it's for everyone. I don't think a lot of people are going to make it through that opening sequence. So if you don't have patience, do not buy this game because that hour was fucking excruciating. And I'm pretty patient when it comes to games. Um, 
So, uh, but yeah, once it started to open up, I'm interested in sinking into this world. I'm ending it because I want to kind of leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but also myself, because I'm not going to play the game until I play it again on the channel. So I want to kind of pick up and remember what's happening and stuff like that. So um, if you guys want to see more, make sure you leave a like, make sure you comment, let me know. Uh, if you guys would like to stay in tune, make sure you go subscribe. If you stop by, I appreciate you. Um, I want to do some more streaming and stuff. It seems to be running fine now. So, uh, probably stream resident evil here on, um, uh, I don't know, Friday, maybe, um, we'll see. I'll let you guys know the day of, or the day before I'll let you guys know I'm going live, but, um, Make sure you follow, you know, the social medias or wherever the fuck down there. <laughs> Make sure you follow my social so you guys can stay posted with that stuff. But, um, yeah, so that's Biomutant. Two hours of Biomutant. Pretty, pretty fun. Minus the, you know, narrator talking his ass off. But, uh, thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.